Hello and welcome to Quasi's Bell Tower with your host, Quasi. And today we're going to learn how to make a 36 count paint rack using PVC piping. So let's get to it. Okay hey guys, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take this PVC pipe. It's a inch and a quarter uh, PVC piping. It will fit perfect for the paint uh, that you use normally for the acrylic paints. So what we're going to do is we're just going to measure out a inch and a half. We're just going to make a little tiny mark on the PVC piping. Pretty simple. Um, hopefully you got one of these chop saws. Um, if not, um, there's other ways to do it. Uh, might be a little more trickier though. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to put it at a 45 degree angle. I'm just going to line this up the best I can, right up to the line. And that's it guys. There you go, one done. Now if you need another one, you just measure basically from the little edge here to the one and a half inch mark, or half, yeah, inch and a half mark. Mark it there, put this back up at a 90 degree angle, and cut a, and cut a straight line. And then that's it. And then all you have to do is clean all the debris out Make sure it's clear, and that'll be it. Um, one other thing I found as I was cutting all these is uh, it makes a mess. The PVC piping, it, you know, the saw, the dust from it goes everywhere. But as I was cutting them, I realized if I clean it, if I pick it all up and I clean it all up and put it, I got some in a container right now. I got some in some old uh, cottage cheese or you know, containers, um, it makes, uh, I don't know, hopefully that'll focus on it, but it makes some really good, uh, like sawdust, you could, it's almost, I mean, it's, you know, a little bit thicker than, well, not thicker, but a little more different than, uh, sawdust, but I think this would really be good if you took it and, uh, soaked it in some green paint and you let it dry out or even use it as, like, white snow or, uh, maybe some kind of swamp material, but I've got two containers of this stuff, so hopefully it will work out in a future project. So that's basically it. So basically I'm going to go and cut 35 more of these, and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now in this step I'm just super gluing these to the board. Um, I pretty much did them all already. I'm just doing this last one so I can show you and then talk a little bit about it. So let me get some glue on this last piece. Gluing this down and trying to line it up as nice as I can with the other ones. Hold this in position for about 30 seconds, maybe less. Now this board is actually a board I got from a uh, mailbox uh, thing. So you can actually go to Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever you want to go and get your wood. But basically each line from here to here is four inches so I've spaced them about four inches apart all the way down um, the board is actually 
about 11 and a half, a little over 11 and a half inches long or wide. The board is pretty much about 23 inches in length. So if you can get yourself a decent piece of plywood or particle board or whatever you want to use, paneling board basically is all this is, uh, is all you're going to need. So I just basically super glued each one on here and just kind of eyeballed them and spaced them the best I could. So there you guys go. One paint rack, 36 counts of paint. Well, I hope you liked that video. If you did, subscribe, comment, and like always, ring that like button like a hunchback. Until next time.